some cases, you will have a document or a contract that maybe is not 100% complete after generation. So you want to have your uh, sales team or your customer to update the document after it's been generated. Well, in this case, you can, of course, just generate the docx file, but maybe you don't want that they have the uh, ability to just change everything in this document. Like, for instance, if I would say monthly rent and I say, oh, yeah, this amount, I'm going to change it into uh, like uh, two euros instead of uh, uh, something else, then, of course, you don't want that. Now, this can be done by actually putting restrictions on site the document. Let's say I want to restrict editing. So I'm going to just search for restrict. And then you have here the options to restrict edit, uh, editing. Uh, I want to restrict editing to filling in forms. So we're going to create some form fields here uh, inside the Word document so that people can actually just change the structure of these fields or the data in these fields. So here I'm going to add a label. I'm going to add another label right here. I'm going to say that, well, the utilities uh, section can be edited completely. So I'm going to make it this content control. And yeah, you can go on over and over, of course, to the entire uh, length of this document uh, and just keep adding all the fields that are required to be uh, to be edited. So that's your choice. You can make, you can create as many as you like. Now, um, so this document is updated. I Everything is uh, is done. That's the document that I need. And I say, yes, I want to start enforcing protection. Now you can choose to have an, uh, a password. I would say that normally you would select the password for this demo. I'm not going to enter a password, but you should actually enter a password normally because otherwise everybody can just drop the restriction of uh, the, uh, the, the, the editing. Okay, so my document is now done. If I save my document, uh, then I can go to actually PDF Butler and say that I want to make uh, generate this docx file. So I already prepared the configuration here. The configuration is called restricted editing of the Word file, and I already prepared some configuration. So I can now just select my document that I have just edited and save to server. So now the document will be generated. Uh, when I generate the document, it will also take into account all of the restricted uh, uh, editing areas that are in the document. Cool. Let's go back to our opportunity. And on the opportunity, I can now just say, generate me this docx file. So I'm going to generate the docx file. And imagine that, OK, I'm sitting together with a customer or my sales rep just gets it downloaded on his, uh, on his computer. and now the sales rep will start editing the document. So in this document, if I would click anywhere, I cannot click anything. I cannot start editing. I can only say, well, uh, as just what happened is it will, it will automatically go, if I click anywhere, it will automatically go to the closest uh, form uh, field that was actually there. So what I can now do is, of course, say, well, it begins on, let's say, the 1st of January. And okay, in the year 2023, and it ends on, let's say, the uh, 31st of December in the year 2027, 2027. Okay, so that's already filled in. Now I can say, well, in the utilities, uh, I want to make a small change here. So, okay, you can just do, let's say, an extra paragraph or remove the paragraph and say, okay, uh, um, utilities, utilities are at full expense of the rentee of the tenant. Okay. Well, it's just an example, obviously. <laughs> you wouldn't uh, want that in your contract, but uh, it's an example. So now the contract can remain exactly the same. Maybe I'll just uh, fill in something here, some text. Uh, and the cool thing is that indeed it just makes sure that all the text that I fill in here is actually nicely embedded into my Word document. Okay, other text I cannot, uh, I cannot change. 
so all of the other texts are actually locked. They are restricted from editing. I can save my file now. And when I go back to Salesforce, I can actually now uh, make sure that uh, the editing of the file or that I can upload the file just by dragging and dropping it over here. And then decide what I want to do. I'm going to, I selected in the configuration of the live edit component that I'm going to convert it into a PDF. And then I'm going to do something with that PDF. I might want to mail it. I might want to send it out to Slack. You have different options. Everybody knows that you can just create your own packs and these packs where you can configure on site uh, on this component. In this case, it's a contract. So I want to get it sent out for signing. So now it's going to take this Word document, it's going to convert it into a PDF, and it's going to send it out for signing. That's how easy it can go. And that's how easy you can actually make those last changes inside the uh, contract that are required uh, to send it out. Let's go to the sign requests. And there should be a new sign request here. Exactly, there is a new sign request. And you will see that there are now two signers here. And these two signers, yeah, they have to sign the word, uh, the PDF file that was uh, that was uploaded earlier.